Drones are already saving lives. In fact, there are a couple of really good examples of that, and we keep hearing about more and more as time goes on. One of the reasons why I can save lives is because it's so quick to deploy. Uh, what used to take 10 or 15 minutes can now be done in two or three minutes. As they fight the fire, you can use thermal imaging to understand, is my hose hitting the fire? Are we being successful at putting out the fire? If you have a train derailment or a truck uh, that you know, flips over and you have to make sure that there's no bad chemicals coming out of it, you can fly the drone down and find out. Also search and rescue. You know, they send 100 people out to walk on foot on a, you know, in a grid path. Now you can put a drone up in the air with a thermal imaging camera and be able to pick that person out very, very quickly. The multi-million dollar a year cost to keep a manned helicopter in the air um, can be replaced, not replaced, but maybe augmented by a couple thousand dollar drone. Uh, for cities like ours who can't afford a helicopter, it takes the place completely of it. They used a FLIR camera to help the firefighters find the hot spots to be able to search the building. So that's a perfect example of, of, a, of a use case for drones. It's a big warehouse, large fire, lots of responders, and it sort of helps organize all that information into one place. If the last three years and how far it's come is any indication of what the next three years will look like, every fire department and every police department will have a drone in some form. Hi, I'm Tanya Breyer, and that was just a taster of what you can find on CNBC Life. For more award-winning content, just click on the videos. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much for watching.